Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over how I'm using this new Laurel Denise planner for the coming 12 months and I'm also going to set it up. So we're going to have our July planner set up. So this is a brand new planner for me. I have a little flip through and unboxing on the channel already if you want to check that out as well as my 2024 July planner lineup series which goes over all the planners I'm using um, for the coming month. All right, so this is a brand new planner for me and it's pretty big, look at that. It doesn't even really fit very well in the screen. Um, so we may do part by part, but I'm trying to do all of it with a similar theme. So we'll see how it all goes. Okay, so just briefly how I'm going to use this is as a home planner. So the biggest things that I'm trying to do are eat more healthy and track my son's food allergies. And he's about to have a bunch of allergist appointments with some food challenges and starting oral immune therapy and all sorts of things. So I'm gonna have some things to track. So here I'm going to track his um, appointments and his uh, skin. If they're in, the main thing that caused us to diagnose those were like hives and rashes and worsened eczema. And so writing down kind of how his skin is looking each day is gonna be important, especially as we're introducing foods to see how he's doing. And then over here, meal plan to make sure we're doing safe stuff for him as well as healthy for me and a little grocery list. So I think that's gonna work really well here, but then this isn't just going to be an allergy notebook and groceries it's gonna track all the kind of chores and tasks around the house like changing the air filters or you know things like that so I'll put things over here that I want to remember to do and then this will be other tasks that might take up more than like a little tiny space then this I'm gonna decorate I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet so I'll just decorate it to match the theme and then figure it out from there. Maybe this first month it'll be like notes as to how this is working to see if I need to change anything. Then this I wanted to use for regular chores. So things that maybe I want to do daily or close to daily that I haven't been so I can just check them off every day to make sure that we're keeping the house up. All right so now that that's all out of the way let's decorate and get ready. So I had ordered three sets of stickers from Laurel Denise just to check them out. Obviously, if you've watched my channel before, I have a ton of stickers, sticker books from all over the place, but I wanted to try some of the stickers from Laurel Denise as well. So I thought since it's July, let's use these summer stickers and try to use them up across all the spreads. We're not going to decorate these other weeks yet because the way that I use it might change a little bit. So we're just gonna decorate everything that you see here. All right, so to start, let's just go ahead and grab this Hello Sunshine sticker and put it right up here. And I'm also gonna go like this, okay. So I know that, let me double check the dates really quick. All right, I'm glad I checked because I would have gotten it wrong. It's the 23rd and 30th that we have allergist appointments for various things. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> you can hear the little guy running around upstairs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate these. I'm not going to fill it out yet. Um, I'll fill that out on my own time because I'm going to have enough of just decorating it and figuring it out with you all. But we're going to go like that and then get some decorations around. So let's put a little beach ball here. Maybe these sunglasses on the other one. That's pretty cute. <laughs> and then, um, other than that, we might have an appointment here. 
So I'm not gonna draw it in yet. We're waiting to hear it, um, hear about it, but I'll put this in if we need that. And then I'm gonna fill in maybe, let's do Saturdays. And I'm just going to put this here because I have not been good at meal planning lately and I want to remind myself to meal plan. So I'm gonna make boxes for that. And let's actually draw some boxes on these too, some fun little decorations, because I love doing that. Let's do little heart squiggles for these ones. That's cute. All right, so this will be meal planning. And then generally weekends are pretty busy, but we'll do groceries on Mondays. I think that will work well. So just to have a schedule of it and try to get things like better. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of junk when we run out of stuff or when I don't have stuff that's easy to prep. So I think I just need to be more aware of that and more intentional intentional about what I'm doing. So again, we'll put that here. And then as I figure out the next set of things I need to do, like changing filters when and all of that, I'll start adding them in as regular items on this schedule, on this calendar page. But let's go ahead and add a few more stickers on these. Um, just to, I think some nail polish came off there, um, just so that we have a little more decor. Cute, and then a couple things over here as well. Ice cream and a little unicorn. Okay, so for his food allergy stuff, what I want to do is note, um, I want to note, uh, let's see, we won't have started oral immune therapy at this point, so I don't need a, category, a line item for that, but at some point I will have like a check box for giving him whatever he's taking, um, I know it'll be peanuts and walnuts, it might be egg, there might be other things. But right now, it's going to be a skin skin check. <laughs> I'm not sure quite what I'm going to call it or how I'm going to do it yet. So I'm not going to write anything down. But this green line is going to be for me to write down how his skin looks that day because as I mentioned, our first sign of his food allergies was rashes. And just to make it look nice, I'm gonna add a little dashed line. You could use the ruler um, to make this straight if you wanted to make your own lines, but I think it looks fun like that. And I'm actually gonna start down here because I don't wanna accidentally smudge any of the, um, ink. So then I think the rest of this area I'm going to leave blank because as I mentioned there's going to be a checkbox eventually for the little uh, stuff that we're going to give him every day and then I want space to write down if he has any sort of reaction. I mean other than checking his skin. Like if he suddenly gets hives after a certain food or you know something like that. Okay, so let's add 
a little lemonade down here. And a splash all the way up there. And we'll kind of leave that blank from here because we do want to use some stickers elsewhere. Okay, I'm going to leave this open while I get this page done so that I can keep uh, keep things even um, with decorating. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to plan out. Um, we should do breakfast at least this month because I've been really terrible at breakfast lately since eggs are out. Um, I'm still breastfeeding. Okay, I'm going to close this. Actually, I'm still breastfeeding and my kid's allergic to eggs, so I've had to cut out eggs. So breakfasts, I've been really badly, really badly, I've been really bad at lately because I've just been eating a lot of toast. So planning out breakfasts to include protein is probably good for me. Okay, I keep starting from up here and I want to start over here so I'm not smearing things. <laughs> and if you're watching me for the first time using this Laurel Denise planner, I have a lot of planners. I use a happy planner, daily grind planner, and a creative journal. And most of my stuff is super bright and super decorative. It brings me a lot of joy. So you will see a lot of color and a lot of stickers in my spreads. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner BLD on all of these. Since I know I will need that. Oops, of course I just wrote BL on the same line. I always run into problems when I'm trying to speak and write things at the same time. It never works well. <laughs> so we're just going to have to put some blue highlighter over that again and it's going to look a little silly. But that's all right. Oh, come back. I may not be done with you. So the only thing about this planner that I'm unsure of yet is that I can't take the pages off these uh, coils, but I did see Elizabeth, um, the Joyful Sojourn, just do something where she cut each little gap and then took them off and then popped them back on. I don't know how sturdy that is though. So, um, We'll see. Um, I'll watch that, see if she does that some more and ask her about it and then maybe decide to take them off because I love being able to take things off the planner. Um, I'm going to get a sticker to cover over this week because I want to write groceries on it. So this is a sticker book full of box stickers. Maybe I'll find one that matches. That would be a little bit too big. It's not quite the right color, but let's do this uh, teal one. It's a little darker, but it'll do. And I'm going to white out that and then put it down. groceries and let's get a few stickers on this page. Maybe. <laughs> okay. We don't need many stickers. Just uh, trying to get a few little pieces of fun in here. Okay, I think we're going to call that good and then come over here. This one we don't need to do much. I don't even know if I'm really going to put 
many stickers down, but we should choose the chores that we're going to track here. So life with a toddler, things get messy really quickly. Um, so vacuuming and sweeping the kitchen and dining is probably a great plan. The other option would be to get a dog, um, <laughs> but we're not there. Uh, one day we'd love a dog, but not right now. So let's add sweep and vacuum. Another thing I'm trying to do is just tidy the entryway. And part of that is teaching my five-year-old when she takes off her shoes, not to throw them across the floor, but put them away. And my husband and I need to do better at that and put the backpacks on the hooks instead of on the floor. Um, Cause then the toddler gets into them and everything gets everywhere. So just keeping that cleaner. Um, what other daily chores can we do? Um, bathroom cleanup. We often forget to like put the bath toys away or, you know, things like that. So we can do that every day. Um, and then in the kitchen, it would be great to keep the sink empty at night. So, uh, I guess just call it reset kitchen. I'm not really sure what else to call it because sometimes that would include emptying the dishwasher. Other times it's just putting things into the dishwasher just instead of waking up to a sink with dishes in it. Um, and then prep coffee for the next morning. And part of the habits I'd like to do would be to set up my morning space, which is like the kitchen counter. So, which has my journal and my planner, my book. Um, so what can I call that? Uh, I could call it morning space, but that is a little vague. Um, set up morning planners, set up morning space, kitchen counter. I'm just going to say set up planner area or set up morning planner space. I guess I have lots of room to write. I can put a few more words in this one. Set up morning planner space. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put some sunglasses here and something on the other side. Maybe two pairs of sunglasses just for like evenness. That's kind of cute. Okay, and then this we are going to make a fun little border and figure out what we're gonna do with this later. But it might just be one big like journaling page. Wow, that's not a straight line. <laughs> I have to be careful with those little Dutch doors. It makes everything uneven. Okay, I'm gonna go this way this time. Okay, so we're gonna put a sticker over that. <laughs> okay. And this, we're gonna do a different kind of border around this one. So I'm just gonna do some scallops. I'm gonna go downwards for all of these just to make sure I don't have a problem. You know, you can hardly notice with these scallops. That's nice.
just have more room if I go this way. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got that edge and I'm just going to draw a line on the outside. Sometimes I do dashes or dashes with dots. But this will work really well and that line was not straight at all there. It's just really wonky. Um, a lot of times I don't care if things are wonky but that's extra, extra so. <laughs> that's all right. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and get a few stickers in various places so that we can create like a big journaling space. Okay, so these are gonna help guide me as I make my little journal thing. Okay, so first let's make like a title box for whatever this is gonna be about right here. And then I'm gonna make a few boxes for writing in. Then everything else we will add lines so that there are some lines to write on. Um, let's do one more box. Let's call that good. Okay, so then we're just going to draw some lines. I'll start with the blue down here. But we will change colors throughout. I just think adding lines always looks really good when I'm journaling. I just have to be really careful going over this bump. I love Dutch doors, and so I thought it was really cool that this planner basically came with Dutch doors. Um, Dutch doors are the shortened ones. Um, but it certainly is hard to go over so many of them because there's such a difference in how thick this section is to this section. not sure what to do right here because would it just I wouldn't fill it with writing but should I add purple lines there I need to think about that because it looks a little blank over there now so this could be writing about what worked well in this planner and what I want to change it could be kind of a monthly review I will figure it out. Okay, and then we're gonna leave this blank as like part of the title area. Okay, so this needs a box around it. Again, it went over that bump. I just need to learn not to do that, to take little slower moments. Since I did the heart with the squiggle um, on the other page, I'm gonna do that here as well, just so there's some consistency between all the spreads.
and I'm not going to draw <laughs> lines on every single one of these lines, I think that would be a lot. We're just going to have the colorful line be it. No dashes or anything like that. Okay, so then this will be a to do this month section. So we can just add some check boxes and lines. I might do that and rotate colors. These are big check boxes, but hey, I don't think I'm gonna have tiny handwriting here because I don't know that I'll fill it all the way up if I do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave the pens capless for now so that I can do this more quickly. planner is so cute. I'm very hopeful for how organized this could make me around our house um, with, you know, all the things that come with home ownership and the kids and the allergies. <laughs> This is a very colorful page. As I said, I like colors. <laughs> And I don't like things being absolutely completely perfect, like straight lines and stuff. That's a little too much for me for how wonky it is, but all of this stuff, I love a little bit of color poking out or imperfection. I just think it makes a spread look more homey. I don't know. Um, we're gonna add squiggles just cause. and then use the last of the stickers, except the at the pool stickers. I really don't need those. We do swim lessons with the kids, but there are not enough stickers for how many swim lessons we have. Okay, that was a pretty funny uh, squiggle right there. And then I'm going to cut this one because I don't need the part that says adult swim, but I do want to use the woman in the floaty. Maybe we'll put her up here actually. And all these little water droplets, splashes. All right, I think we are good with this spread. So let's just make sure, I don't know how big this thing is still. Okay, so this is what we've got for the month. The monthly area, the weekly food and allergy stuffs, daily chores, journaling or notes section, and other to-dos. I think that's pretty cute. Let me know what you guys think. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.